Good evening everyone and welcome aboard tonight's train. Tonight we're going back with Team Firespark trying our best to be able to get down that Groudon that we were talking about last train. Uh, last train ended on us being able to get down Articuno and running back the Gengar gang that was basically bullying us into non-existence. Um, well, that's pretty much it. And for those that went here early, well, I have a good news for you. Today, Leo decided he would take the right spot to be noticed. So I'm going to share you the cat. Oops. I think, I think there could be a decent spot for that game in particular. Um, as you can see, there's the bottle, but we have Leo. Um, let's, let's make it bigger. Because we almost don't see him in that size. There we go. That's the cat. He's basically the mascot. And at the moment, he got no candy today, so... Um... No, kind of fine. He wanted attention and he did not get any from his mom because she was caring about the baby. Which is normal. So, without further ado, let's go back on our run. Wondermail consists of lovely letter that grants you item or special job request. When you enter a secret password, when you get a password... Okay, that was the same sentence, it was just on another line. Bring it, he bring it here and enter it. Please enter a Wondermail password. I don't have Wondermail. I guess I misclick, it's continue that I want. I must have clicked on right and left just so that the controller is still uh, being considered by the computer here. I think we have no Makuita Dojo ticket left. If my memory is good, yeah, we spend them all. So we're not going to do any of those. We're a level 25-ish. Uh, let's see. How can I know? There, status. 25 for Torchic and 27 for Kim. So the duo is there. And we have a few dog that can actually be useful in some places. Uh, what was next? Okay, no, those are talking to each other. They're not talking to me. Um, I'm blanking on what was the next thing I was supposed to do. I guess I'm supposed to, like, level up my um, team level. Or... Or I'm gonna go on the left and see if there is like a big exclamation mark somewhere telling me this is the quest that you want to do. Um, well, we have a lot of stuff in Sinister Wood. And that's pretty much it. So we have 11 quests in Sinister Wood. There's no reason not to go there. And we have five in the Hottity Cave. So later, let's take a look to it to see if we want to use that to progress. I'm gonna change this team edit team we don't want magnemite that much uh we will give them give us place to Gladi form when the pokemon hp is low the power of bug type move goes up Meh. uh do they have rare quality i want rare quality bargain bargain is not so bad because it lowers the price of item in the shops during dungeons. Strike back is... Okay, basically it lowers the damage that the enemy is going to do when he hits him. Purple. Um, blast control. My team takes less damage from explosion and Absol. Squeeze out the... Let's go with Absol. Like, there's no reason not to take him. He's the highest level. And squeeze out is not that bad. Super luck is... Pokemon moves have a high critical rate, critical hit rate. So nothing bad here. Uh, I don't like much. Ooh, well, maybe I talk too fast. I don't like much this one. Squad up is cool. So we have our team. Let's give them items because for now I only have Pikachu with his Mac ribbon. Um. Okay. Your ribbon is free XP. Um, not sure it's the best, but like it's better than nothing. And do we have any other ribbon to heal ribbon? Um, it's not gonna tank much. 
Maybe I shall go into my items and money. Okay. Manage money. Uh, I'll deposit a lot of it. I never did, and I regretted it earlier, so there it's done. And items. This is our setup. <laughs> but after that, we'll be... Ooh, wait, I had all of those on me? Did I? Filter. No, not filter. Thor. Default. Uh, pickle spec. When equipped, it boosts the critical itch rate using when using a different move than the turn before. Not so great, not so bad either. Uh, did I went on ritual? I went on ritual. I want to deposit. I want to deposit everything that seems to be a double sort. Uh, we don't need the heal ribbon. I don't like it enough to keep it. Max Ether, we don't need seven of those. Like, three shall be enough. Max Elixir, eh. Raspberry, one is enough. Testo Berry is good. Like, we want one. Tiny Reviver Seed, we're fine. Train Seed. Seed. Meh. I drop. No. Not that it's useless, but like, I don't want to use that. Um... I may regret not using, not taking those, but like... Okay, let's withdraw something now. Uh, we want a band for um, Torchic, and we would like one for the speedster we got in the back. Prevent lowering. Confused. Okay, this is all we had. Um... Let's go for Mac Ribbon. Speed is good. And... That could be good on Pikachu and we will be able to have uh, the AoE move. But it's gonna be good. Let's go, let's go just add as an item. Hit a team. No, not, not the team. Give item. And give him Mac Ribbon also. There. And we have our Torchic getting XP when he's doing nothing. Let's start. I'm gonna lower the music on the side with the game chops and we'll be restarting the switch sounds. Yeah, it's not the best OST there is, but it's not so bad either. Let's let's enjoy it. If it's fine for you guys. There, like this, so we don't get a double sound too much. So we have Execute that is with us because he wants to go and gather back his friend. Oh, nice. And there's nothing on the first floor, so let's just skip to the stairs. Okay, Voltorbs, Rumored Form. I guess this is like this star up top. That's just frozen. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, this is damage and I can't sleep. Uh, are we, are we really dying from frost? Like, this is not supposed to be a so hard dungeon. So, there's the horde we were looking for. First job complete. We have Helleven to get like that. Uh, there is a request beyond this point, but we do, we do this place. There's not much danger going up also, so if we get a tiny reviver seed or something like that, it's a plus. Okay. Hi, Sudo. Is he not walking? Maybe he's just made not to pick up Pokey Dollars. Amber. Yeah, that's it. It's gonna die. Fun turn. Give a max ether. They need a, they need items sometimes like apple, a orangeberry, or a ether. I did not look at what the guy were looking for, so I may be lacking one eventually. So no escaping yet. Does he move when we get? Yeah, when he get hit, he starts. To move. Not that he's dangerous or anything, but like he does. Ah, this is a room move. 
It's a really low damage room move, but uproar actually can be used from a really long range. Ever. Oh my god, it's gonna be long. He's gonna go and kill this with fixed damage. Or eventually stop having some and hurt himself and just use it, I guess. Like, he's gonna struggle the hell out. Um, down we go. That course on Flora must really feel like this is harassment. I don't like the fact that we got Execute now. Not like he was doing enough damage to be really interesting. Oh man, for real. This is a hot -ish. Do something else. There. Radada. Ratata was looking for nothing just to be rescued. Good. And we'll join him later. So the team must get better before we are able to go to Groudon. Because the game is basically telling you, you're not gold yet, we don't trust you with that. But, like, for sure, Alakazam and his team are gonna get wrecked and we will have to go and save them. That was Bullet Seed. Like, ah, I don't like the fact that he got Uproar because he basically wastes that move way too much. But he still has Bullet Seed as well, which is a multi-hit, and both are good kind of skills to use in this game. Woke up! Defense girl! This little ferret hardens. stairs here. Not even a room also, but that's a detail. Woo! Okay, that's done. Don't throw a rock one shot. Once again, he's gonna go hop for Ember. Left. Don't throw a rock. was sleeping. In green. Okay. Put down the root, I guess this is the move to be resistant to Thunder or to get some health per turn. Either one of those. Good job, you just uproared a cocoon. How cool do you feel? Execute like, is so mad at everything. So this job's done. We're like four jobs in, I think. We still have seven to go. Ember, oh missed. That's for her. Then the thing's dead. Pikachu is stacking this stuff. We're probably gonna break that uh, Ampharos without much challenge. Ooh, Strumi's dead. Okay, we do not recruit at the moment for some reason. Root! Okay, cool. Here we got a loot for later. Nothing. Left. Hey, Sunflora. At least they look happy and then they die. Amber. I'm probably close to be out of Amber. Yeah, PP dropped to zero. There we go. Woo. Let's go Pikachu, get that cash. Go up. Damn. Okay. Um, those stairs are down there. Last place I was looking. Oh, a, a zigzagoon. Which is basically a cool looking turret. There. I know, I don't have a, a, a two hit move anymore. And we got a sleep seed, which we probably won't use. I'm not a good item user for this game. Hi, Shroomish. Wake up. 
fucking sleeping there. Okay, he's gone. I'm still kind of curious about why didn't we get any new friends yet. Because usually when I start with a four-man team, uh, the... What? Okay, topical gift. That's good. So I'm maybe sleeping, but he keeps me up. That's cool. Oh, topical gift. It's Winnip's topical gift. Um, topical, I think, is supposed to be like an adjective that means that you put it on you, like a topic cream. But... No! Okay, no, okay, good. But I'm really not sure about that. Oh, Hemparis! Show me what you got! Oh, okay. Uh, I still had one Hember. Because of Squeeze Out, but Hember's gone. Let's go Pikachu, show him. We'll move. Okay, I'm gonna make my, my character flee. Okay, let's use another Kalos. Just so he don't die for stupid reasons. Thanks, Kim. You appreciate it. Go. Electro ball on my ass. I'm I'm a bird, but I'm not flying. This should not do that much damage. Good job, Kim. And we're gone. We we did get the topical gift. Hey, le metaller, how's it going? Le nom de mon chat. No, uh, my cat is not called Calypse, but I know that the tag is under his head. His name is Leonard. We called him like that because when we were looking for a cat, we needed an hypoallergenic hypo one. And basically, we went to the SPCA, which is uh, un refuge. I don't remember the name in English for that. But a place where um, family that do not want their dog or cat anymore go and drop them. Um, a shelter. It's a shelter in English. And there was a cat that we really loved that was called Penny. Yeah, exactly. An animal shelter. Shelter. That was called Penny. And... Well, we were looking Big Bang Theory a lot at the time, me and Kim. Oh, fudge. Uh, wait a little longer. What do you want? Oh, I need to move the execute next to seal. Okay. Uh, execute, talk to your friend. Okay, I should not have started that fight. Execute. Okay, when I'm confused, if I attack, I will attack in a random direction. When I move, I will move in a random direction. I was not clicking bottom right. I assure you I wasn't. Good. They're dead. Thanks, guys. Now we need to bring Execute close to his friend here. That's it. So, um, yes, we were looking at a cat that was called Benny. And since we were really into the Big Bang Theory at the time, and we could not take Penny. Penny was, like, triggering my allergy uh, through the roof. So we played with her. She was nice. She looked like a decent cat. And then we went for a cat that was already one year old, so Leonard, uh, from another family. And they did not told us how much he was crying at night. So we kind of learned to deal with that. <laughs> We called him Leonard just because the other one was called Penny. Uh, Leonard. Um, L-E-O-N-A-R-D. Um, Leonard. Um, in French. So Leonard. It's not Leonhardt or Lionheart. Um, it's more like a, a, a big baby. Like Leonard. So Leonard and Penny from uh, The Big Bang Theory. Let me tell you. If it makes any sense. Uh, that was that, that was a show. I, I'm pretty sure you know that was a show, right? Like you listen to the Big Bang Theory. You oh wait, sorry. I was um, my my Torchic was dying of hunger there. Uh, and what happened when this goes for? It's like if you're poisoned, you get damage over time, and you try to avoid that. We had something like eleven quests to do in here, so. Even though it's only to like ra rack up, rank up our level of uh, rescue team, this is better. And Lionheart, jamais. Ça me semble c'est pas le surnom de Squall de FF8 ou son ami. I know that Lionheart uh, would be a concept that you would see in the 
what was the name of that that old kid thing um i think dorothy with dorothy as the main character oh no i don't want to escape yet we're not done with this dungeon this dungeon still owes me money I don't know. I Good job, Absol. You're overkilling it. Level up for Absol. I'm gonna feed something to my... Oh, he's trying to learn something new. Night Slash would be power, good accuracy. I critical hit rate and he got lucky also, so... Okay, this is like an improved version of Pursuit or Bite. Okay, Pursuit is two tile away. Bite is close range, but can make the enemy flinch. I think... Oh, I think I'm gonna kill Bite. Like, the enemy won't flinch, but he's gonna get hit for more. It's going well, by the way. Um, for me or for you? Like, <laughs> um, for me it's going well. I had, a, I had a really soft day today, I gotta say. Uh, I woke up at something like 8. And for a teacher that's supposed to be teaching at 7.30, it's late. Uh, so... Only one class. It went pretty good, and then I went home and took care of the baby a little while Kim was, like, wrecking the apple behind the house. We got we got two apple tree, and basically somewhere during the autumn, we have to clean them at least. No, 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 I did not... I did not woke late. I... Do you remember when you were in high school, you were, like, having four class per day, right? I'm not sure if it makes sense, but it probably does. Okay, this one is, like, a deep sleeper. So, you were having four class a day? Uh, the teacher don't. <laughs> the teacher um, will have, like, in between 24 and 28 class on the... Woo! It's shiny! Um... You will have in, in between uh, 24 and 28 classes. And basically that means that on the 36 classes, we have like every... We have one class out of three. But some day, some, some year you end up with like... Days with four class in a row. So yesterday I was working from the first to the fourth non-stop. Plus I had something on the, mi uh, on the lunch. Uh, so it was a long day, and today was the total opposite. I had the third period, and that's it. So, I have a weird schedule this year. I have two days where I'm working one to fourth, like, four period. Ow. Okay, well, we got, we got 49 for that spike trap. And I have one day where I have only one class to get. Yeah, it's not balanced. It's really like, oh yeah, you're gonna rush that day, and then the next day, ah, it's gonna be so easy. You're gonna be, you're gonna be wondering what's happening. Oh yeah, I cannot complain. Like basically, having full days means that I have a few empty ones. So it's up to what some, it's it's up to what people do prefer. And I'm ambivalent about that. Like. Last year, I had a really good um, schedule. I was, like, working three periods a day every day. And, like, almost every day I was working on the first period out of one. And I had half of the day that I was ending at, mid uh, at lunch. So, at 12, I was already out of the school. And this year, well, it's really different. But I'm, I'm still, like, making four of the extracurricular activity at the school I am in. So I, I'm kind of asking for it. <laughs> you would prefer to rush and cook to have more time libre? We're never totally free. Because <laughs> we're teachers. Um, basically, you have to work your time. Like, we have to be in school 32 hours a week. If everything goes fine, we have an average of 32 hours a week in school, but there's not a teacher that only does work in school. So you bring the rest of the work at home. The, our principal is going to say that it's not true, that we have enough time during the class to be able to do our job. This is wrong. Oh! 
We were done with the dungeon. I just did not notice. So that's good. Did we get all the jobs? Probably. We got a bronze dojo ticket. A DX gummy. Which is probably a rainbow gummy with, with more worth. Kim would know that. I think I did not even use them. There's always thing that happens. Yes. Uh, basically, there's always a kid that will tell you something stupid. Or that will ask you some question that you will feel the need to answer. What are you working in? Let me tell you. Because I guess you're not gaining all your money from Twitch. Okay. Oops. Sneed Z the F word. Oh, you said the F word. Where? Oh, you, you got like auto um, shot by the bot. Okay, DX Gummy have 100% chance to give me a special cal quality. Okay, that's nice. My um my my Twitch set up on like average for the control of what's happening on the chat. So basically they will try to stop some words and sometimes you're looking at those in your for real? Like this is Ben Because they see something weird in that. As um I had one game that adds in in its, in its character some assassin. And basically, because when you write assassin, there's two times the word ass. Uh, you were trying to write assassin, and the game was basically making some stars the whole time. So it was star, 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 E-N. Yes. So why do you call your own character like that if I can't write it in the chat? They, they're not censoring Banan. They, they are clearly not censoring Banan. You just wrote Banan. Reassure me. Or in the game, you mean, okay. They could, they could. Like, they would say, this is a word that means this. So we won't use that in here. I will beat that word for the YouTube version. Okay? <laughs> Ooh. Kim would understand. I made a weird juice for the... for dinner. Um, with some watermelon, bananas, um... La cannelle. There's a word for canel in English. Cinnamon. And mint. And it was tasting... Special. Say it like that. So, I still have some burps that do taste that special. It's pretty neat. When I say special, I mean Kim did not like it. On my side, it was... Drinkable? Oh, wait, we're far from gold. We just went to bronze. So we were normal, which is basically wood, I guess. And we went to bronze. Uh, I guess why you would ban Azazel. Azazel is still the name of a, um, a, 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 a demon, but that's kind of weird still. Camp capacity, more camp, more job limit. That's that's what we want. Uh, more editable team, but we don't care about that. We only use one. And more toolbox. This is uh, this is appreciable. Like we won't complain about toolbox places. And we got five uh, gold dojo tickets. This could probably make our Pikachu able to have his A we move. Let's have more of those requests. We're, we're only cashing in what we did in the run. So that people understand what's happening at the moment. This is the moment when we're, when we're cashing in. So it's pretty boring. <laughs> it's repetitive. And everything... They're like, thank you for saving something. This is your reward. And there we go every time. They give you items. They give you uh, points. That makes you progress as a rescue team. Which is shaped like an egg. I'm not sure what we're supposed to understand from that. Y you could ask, but... Yeah, your badge is shaped like an egg. By the way, I swapped the camera from right to left, and I put it a little bit higher, just because there's thing, there's, there are things 
that are kind of hidden in the corner in this game that I thought would be nice to see. But I did not make any arrangement for what is in the top right. Um, so you can't see my HP still. Oh, great. I should change at least my, my scene for this game. The next morning. Let's go see our friendly homeless Pikachu outside our home. Have you done the main keys quest? The main keys quest. Nope. I did not. Captain Pog. Yes. Today he decided that he gave us the honor of seeing him in all his readiness. Good morning, Calypso. Let's do our best rescue work today. And we got our Pelipper. By the way, it is totally possible that from one stream to the other, Pikachu changed voice. Um, I don't remember the voice I give to the characters, I just go by feeling. And I tried to make Kim, which is the Pikachu, overhyped at everything. That was my goal. Um, so, something in Mount Thunder. It's really not that interesting. We're gonna take it so we're able to trash it later. Caliph's Innocent, part one. Calypso met with Ninetales on Mount Freeze. Ninetales testified that Calypso was not the human that appeared in the legend. As a result, Gengar's claim were found to be malicious lies. The clearly dismayed Gengar's quote. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is Gengar. Uh, there are recommend these are recommended linked moves for beginners. Bulbasaur, Sludge plus Seed Bomb. Grass fighting and ground type. What? I'm not sure. Are they trying to tell me you should fit those together? So basically, if two... Yeah, I mean, I don't use linked move. I did not feel the need to use um, linked move. Yes. Yet. Okay, it's for early game. Like... Why would they give me that information when I, are, I have already three bosses down, Kim? It, it's kind of late to give you that. We have a few quests in Oddity Cave. We will take a look if the um, helper camps got more. Bolton board. Confirm to me, Kim, by the way. If I want to go and fight Gruden, I will have to go and... I, I will have to do, like, random quest in hope to upgrade my um, team level. Or am I going the wrong way with my thinking there? Uh, e, 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 B, C. Mount Blaze, Mount Freeze. Those are two hard, harder ones. I died in Mount Freeze last time. And Kim had to save me during the stream. Because, yes, you can basically send quests to your other account on your Switch. So that they save you. Okay. Um, yeah, here's the thing, Kim. For the the main quest to continue, do I have to upgrade my team level or am I wrong on that guess? And I just have to go talk to some character that I did not met yet. Like that I missed. Uh, we have two in Mount Steam, Theo. Uh, not much. There's nothing. Is this all the quest? They are all splitted. I guess we could go to Mount Steel up to level 5. Oh, okay, this is a C, and it's in level 4. So, fourth floor for a level C. I guess ain't so, ain't so bad. The next step should be the Mankey quest. Where's that Mankey? Because I see that guy there. I, I don't see any Mankey anywhere. But while I'm waiting for you to have, like... Lash that will tell me where I have to go. I'm gonna try to push up a little bit Pikachu. Because I want him to hit level 34 and be carrying the whole game alone. He's gonna get discharged at, that, at, the, uh, at this level, which is basically a whole room move. So, how with the speed? Okay, it started. Did you? Did you go up? Okay. Spark him down. Oh, wow. Oh, the gold ticket pays so much more. Evasiveness went down, so let's go there. Arden? Oh, fine. 
I'm gonna hit you with specials. Only 22? It spark a melee move? I'm dead. No, defense down. That's good. I'm not dead. He is. Is it a joke? Okay, I'm gonna die. Uh, here's the good thing in those training part. Uh, when you die, you come back up. It's only like a five second loss, though. I'm dead. I'm gonna die at least twice. Walk in zigzag. Thanks, Jim. Easier said than done. Wow. Wow. Okay. That was bad. Or do this. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> like, if I had this charge at the moment, this room would be clean. But I did not. This is the training area. You have to select the Pokémon you want to train up. And basically, depending on the kind of tickets you spend, they give more. Uh, um, get discharge. No, Kim, I need level 34, you told me last time. Like, I'm gonna get discharge. But I can't. Yet. Aye, that was a bad move. All my fault. I deserve to be hit there. Spark. Okay. Like, it's crazy low the amount of chance that I have to miss it. I cannot buy it. Can I buy it? Who sells it? The Cacklean sells it? Like, for now, Cacklean did not sell me any good moves. They're just looking at me saying like, well, yeah, we can sell moves, but why would we, right? Uh, what? Pikachu? Okay, this move cannot go in diagonals. Spark is a bad move. I thought it was a good move because it hits for more than this chart, uh, than uh, the Electro Ball. I was so wrong. Bubble my face. He looks cute, at least. Defense curve. I will not even be able to go through it. Bubble Beam! I'm dead. Now Gopin does sell you move. Gopin sells move? You mean he just started to? No. Let's see if Gopin sells move. I don't want info. I'm fine. Let, let me let me go. Let me go, my Pupita. You say Gopin sells move now. Okay, hi Gopin. Apparently you sells move. Um, where? Uh, remember. Yeah. Nope. Nobody does not. I guess I need to kill, um, what's his name? Um, the sky equivalent of Groudon, you know? You think it's after the Mankey's quest? You're just teasing me with that Mankey's quest. She's not. She, she does not exist. I'm sure this is this is like a bait. Uh, Dragon Tail. Nothing cool here. Nothing cool here. Okay, let's get out. Rayquaza. Thanks, Gil. <laughs> Kim's gonna be ashamed, by the way. <laughs> like she'll be like, oh, I'm baiting that guy. Mm -hmm. He does not know the name of Rayquaza by heart. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> he will deny me some help later if I die. Um, so we don't have this charge yet. I think we go for one last Makuhita and we go back to... And to unlock that main key, Kim. To unlock... Yeah, you haven't done the Rayquaza quest. No, Kim, I haven't done the Rayquaza quest. Uh, I, I haven't done the Groudon quest yet. I just done uh, Articuno. And there's no more quests that seem to be, like, the main quest, you know? So, I am kind of stuck. So, by the way, uh, thanks for those that are chatting. Uh, thanks also for those that are lurking. It's always really liked when someone actually like, take the time to open the, 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 the stream, even if it's just to, like, lay down and wait I appreciate that. You guys are appreciated. Uh, that helps with the viewership and the recognition on Twitch for the algorithm of Twitch. So, thanks a lot, everyone. Letting you know this is 
really, really something I like. What have you done? What have What have I done while you were sleeping? Um, while you were sleeping? Oh, okay. You 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 just kind of uh, slumbered while you were with the kid on the on the the the, the sofa. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I've done. Um, I was doing Sinister's Wood because I had 11 quests in this. Anything for the top Quebec streamer. Ooh, I'm so far from the top. But like, I think, I think, even with it, even being far from the top, I don't think I'm that low into Quebec uh, list of streamer. Because we're kind of a really little market, let's be honest. Uh, and on Friday, I may be on the second page, but the more it goes, the better. Ew! No, I don't want to, like, scrap something. What is Nuzzle? Damage an enemy also cause paralysis, but, like, the power is so... Ew. We're not taking this. Um, we're not taking this. Um, this could be good against boss, I guess, but... My Pikachu already got, like, the Spark skin. Uh, when something hits me with a melee attack, he does have a chance to uh, stun them, naturally. So I don't feel the need to have something that paralyzes on him, even though it could be good in some really particular situation. But yes, uh, like most Quebec streamers, I think that went big, did stream in English. We have a few ones that are kind of decently known in French. But I feel like it's like great. Oh, I could hit from two, like square away. That's it. Punish once, let him come. Punish twice. Easy shit. Why was I trying to hug them all the time? Touching me about everything bad. That was not strategical. That's it. Die. They were killing Marils. Let's be honest. With a Pikachu, it's kind of unfair. But I'm fine being unfair in this situation. Uh, how did I get invited in Team Quebec? Are you from Quebec, yo? Uh, let's be honest. Team Quebec Kill Card um, is a pretty open team. If you're from Quebec and you just say to them, Can I be in there? They will be like, Oh, you're in Quebec. <laughs> you're in Team Quebec. That's pretty much it. You don't have to fight for it. Um, yeah, it could be cooler than this. Uh, I have a second team that actually had in me. Uh, which are a group of person that do some um, charity streams sometimes, and I'd like to be able to participate with them in a, in a certain future. But uh, for the Team Quebec, Team Quebec, it's it's really not that cool to be in Team Quebec. You go on the website of Team Quebec, you tell them I'm from Quebec, I would like to be in the team, and they're like, oh, what do you do? We don't care. Let's come in. Uh, it, it's really kind of easy. Uh, now, to be uh, recognized as someone that do some stuff in Team Quebec, it's something else. Like, some people are active, the, the only real problem they got is that the partner that started the team uh, is actually the only one that can actually care about making the team bigger. Uh, sorry, that can actively press on the button to receive new um, members. So the team has for only motive of not growing up as fast as it could. The fact that there's only one person that is able to control these buttons. So yeah, it's not as cool as it like, look. I think it's Madame Zoom, which is one of our French streamer uh, in Quebec that do uh, all this work because she was the partner that started it. And I'll just say it. Like, we have some good streamer on this and we have other kind of streamers sometimes. Um, that's a gentle way to say it. Uh, there are some people that do talk the worst English I've heard. And they're still big. <laughs> you can have a really, really, really shitty level of English and still kind of succeed in Quebec because I guess we don't have high expectations. I don't know. Uh, we have an expression in Quebec that would be Être né pour un petit pain. Uh, I'm gonna try to translate it, but it's gonna sound like shit. Uh, being born for a small bread. Um, we have a hard time 
letting people succeed or recognize him, recognize that they must have something good to be where they are. Uh, and if someone gets rich in Quebec, the reaction that most Quebecers is gonna have is that that person is doing something illegal. I'm not sure if it makes sense, but like, in other countries, when someone succeeds financially, people are not every time trying to prove that this is wrong. But in Quebec, we have that feeling that making money and or being known and being from Quebec is because you've done something illegal or something that is not ethically acceptable. But th this is really like a cultural thinking. We always say sorry. We don't take what we we don't take a lot for granted. And you can say as well that the Quebec commence à faire ça dans le Twitch. It depends, Red Eagle. I don't know how to explain that. We could say that. We could say that Quebec's starting to be bigger on Twitch, but like, mind that our point of view on this is really biased because we're looking at it from the inside. We may have the impression that the Quebec is taking more place on Twitch, but like from the outside, it may not. It may not even be noticed. We have more. Quebecers that are starting to stream like starting to stream and saying that a, a a culture is actually like getting bigger on Twitch is not kind of the same thing uh, I'm not sure if I make sense at the moment maybe I don't uh, let me think I'm trying to find a good way to explain it without like sounding stupid you get invited to team illustrious since you were a friend with a lot of partners in a battle royal game, but you don't play that game, so you got kicked. Oh! They keep forgetting to remove you. So they did not kick you, or they plan on kicking you, or they did kick kick, kick you, but it took like six months. Um, which one? <laughs> and what battle royal game? Where are you playing Fortnite? <laughs> I'm saying like I'm saying that like if it's a, a something that you could be blamed for, but like where are you playing Fortnite? Or was it something else? Okay. Um I guess they did not kick you out of the team on Twitch. Like, here's the thing. I'm saying so I'm saying that for Team Quebec it's kinda weird because everyone can come in. Okay? Uh, we're over 6k streamer on this, uh, some are active, some are, unacti are inactive. Uh, the leader of the team is not really taking pride into this, but like if, if she does, she does not too much. Um, but it's, I, I, I'm blanking, like the week was long. <laughs> Um, the kids were nice, okay? <laughs> the week was long. Um, so my brain, my brain power is like, oh yeah, you gotta say something, and then my, my, my little hamster wheel stops. Um, but since we're 6k, it always looked like there's something active on that, and the way that the leaders see it is that we're all helping each other, so if you are from Team Quebec, and you go and help someone else from Team Quebec, or even if you're not... Uh, active no sorry even if you're not big on this but you're still active uh, you are bringing a little something to the team you are bringing what you have to bring uh, but i can understand that if you make a team and the team is supposed to be dedicated to uh, like one precise game i understand why they would be like yeah we want to keep it as little as possible so that everybody still is special in the team uh, but just leaving you there cost them nothing and once in a while i guess even someone if someone really likes the new cod game uh, he can basically turn away and be like oh what's in your team this guy this guy is playing uh what is the name of the, the the name of the thing where you play the little cats in team and you have to like make bridge and stuff they started playing minecraft so now you're their top streamer <laughs> funny <laughs> um Obviously, I gotta say, one come with the other, right? 
Or Minecraft, at least. Uh, I have some problem with Minecraft, yo. I can't... Not that I can't find motivation. I have motivation to start. I'm never sure if I'm going to be able to start something on Minecraft that would work uh, on Twitch. Because I've almost not played the game. And I don't know how to launch um, the modern map, the one that would make that a little bit interesting. And basically, I'm stuck at that moment where I'm like, okay, but do I launch something? Yeah, but how do I launch something? And I should go and see two or three tutorial on YouTube and I would be probably able to launch something. I don't know either also what kind of maps uh, make for good content. I saw the Sky Wars that were decent, but like I need to learn how to place the stuff and fight in the game before I do go for the Sky Wars. Is it Sky Wars? Sky Bridge? Something like that. And I, d I don't know where the mods are. I've installed CurseForge. I have no idea how CurseForge works. Um, now, back to the thing that I was doing. Uh, I think, even though Kim is not sure, because she's telling me about the Mankey, but we don't see any Mankey, let's be honest. Um, I think that I have to go and make my level go up by enough. Okay, is this, is this a C1? Make my level go high enough as a team so that I'm able to basically I think it's Mount Freeze. Mount Freeze level four. I finally finished your mint smoothie, Kalitz. Ah, Um it was good, right? <laughs> no she did not like it. I, I know she did not like it by the way. Like she tasted the mint and she was like, Ugh, did you put mint into that? Yeah. Uh, there's still a lot of it in the fridge, Kim, if you want more. <laughs> hey, you, you, how's it going? By the way, I saw you run in your uh, phys ed class today, and I had some PTSD of my time in high school. <laughs> you got your 10k! You're like one-fifth of the way to the VIP option. VIP option that gives you the right to have a personalized SFX for when you get in, and a little sentence talking just about you. I'm mostly making the announcement for the others that would be interested. And by the way, this is like the best way to get you a quick shout out on my stream. Kim got like one. Well, yeah, I know Kim, you got too much. Kim is basically like one upping you at the moment. You should say what? Okay, yeah, she has too much. You have a good new good news about that run. What is the good news? Who got hurt? <laughs> you were second? Is this your good news? You'll get your VIP eventually. I, I feel like Kim tries to get her VIP for free. Like she's like, eventually he's gonna give it to me. I deserve it. Um well, she could get it twice, so... Uh, and I think, why not now? Um, well, maybe Kim just tries to be really nice with you. She knows that some people are kind of packing up their... Um, their Kraken coin to become VIPs. And when someone becomes VIP, I up by a little the cost of the next VIP. Reason being, uh, there is a limit to the amount of VIP I can have as a... Um, affiliate. Uh, I'm limited to 20 VIPs, and I try to, like, make sure that the one that are, that have been there for the whole time are the one that can get it. I know it, it sounds harsh for the new one. I'm sorry if you're one of the new one and you're pretty far from it. Uh, we still have, like, 18 places. Uh, you can fight for them. We're gonna keep the winner, and he's gonna get the VIP. Is that good enough? <laughs> <sighs> because she's lazy and she also has no idea. Oh, yeah. Uh, a little point about that, Yuyu. Uh, if you don't have an idea, I will probably, like, found an SFX that I, uh, that I feel is fitting. But if you have one and you're like, yeah, I would like to have this as my SFX. Um, well, you take it. And you also want to pay a high cost to be fair with the others. 
It's already 50k, Kim. What's your point? <laughs> it's already a high cost. It's it's fair for the others. People will remember that Kim went and did it the same way everyone did. And there will be a few one jealous that will say, yeah, it's because it's your girlfriend. And I will tell them, no, it's close to be my wife, so like, it's more than this. Be nice with her. She paid for them. I will screenshot it and put it in the in the Discord if you need him. Uh, also, you're the one who got hurt. Felt. You got hurt, felt while run. You felt while running? Okay, wait, I missed something, okay. You're usually terrible at sport, but this time you're actually training and trying to be good. As of now, you managed to improve by 10 minutes. First training at home, you did 44, now you did 34. So it's the time it took you to make how many kilometers? Five? I hope I'm not insulting you. Okay. <laughs> um, or 12. How, how, how long do they make you run? I'm curious. But there was that mass of walking kids up to the front of the, the, the school. And there was a few that were trying to run. But most of them were, were just walking. Oh no! Oh no! I want to go out. How can I go out? Fudge. Can I, can I just leave the dungeon now? Because this was all the job I had here. I was supposed to leave after this. No! Kim, is there a way to leave? <laughs> Tactic meeting! Okay. Oh, this is nice! You can actually t say to them, like, go the other way, go after foes, wait there, that's nice. You can just go and live their own life. Um, in sec 5, it's 4 kilometer for girls, 5 for boys. Okay, so it was 34 for 5 kilometer. Um, hey, I'm gonna tell you something. When I was your age, I was fat. Like, I was... 230 pounds. Which would be something like 110 kilos give or take two kilos. So yeah, Greg, have same, you have seven kilometer, aww. And the running part of the classes was the part that I was hating the most. It, I, I, I just, I was not, okay, give up, give up, leave. Can I just leave? If I give up, do I lose everything? Items and money I have on me. Okay. I need to go to the end. I think it's like a 30 floor dungeon. Let's go! Why? Because I was dumb and said no. I should have said yes. Reach the stairs. Okay, I can reach the stairs and stuff. Thanks, Kim, then. All requests have been complete, uh, completed. But da -da 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 -da. Escape! Thanks, Kim. Oops. No. Boom. Escape. Yes. And we escape. Thanks, Kim. Kim is brilliant. <laughs> she knows the game more than me. She probably did that once. And then it was like, oh yeah. I'm gonna tell that to my, uh... Men. <laughs> this is the reason you keep on an escape orb on you. Just in case you missed that part. Okay, it's only 100 point for a C, but it was a easy C. You also ate when you're kind of tired or of getting a negative number as a grade and also have some other personal motivations that makes you work out. Okay, so by personal motivation, you mean a girl or a boy. I, I don't mind, by the way. It's not like I do not obligate you to go for only one gender, but <laughs> by personal motivation, you mean a girl, right? <laughs> We're seeing Gardevoir again. This, that dream again. It's been a while. Your Gardevoir. Yes. Gardevoir. There's so much I want to ask you. Why do you appear in my dream? I am an agent of spirits. I must watch over you. Because that is my role now. An agent of spirit. Yes. We fell under the curse of Ninetales in a place of a train in place of a trainer. 
and became the presence without a physical form like this. Trainer? You mean the human that was in the legend about Ninetales? It's helpful that your trainer would abandon you like that and run away. Yes, my trainer was a terrible person. She says that, I'm gonna take off the cat for a second, look at this. She says that with a smile on her face. <laughs> okay. Oh. Mean and cunning. My trainer wasn't a nice person, truly. But you don't hate my trainer. Uh, you don't hate your trainer? Why not? Well, I wonder why myself. I don't quite understand. My trainer did some terrible thing, but I can't bring myself to feel hatred. My trainer had some quirks, but there were good qualities. <laughs> I thought a quirk was something positive, but I may have misunderstood that word. I'm gonna read... Oh, I'm gonna read your stuff after I'm done with that part, guys, okay? <laughs> when it happened, I was desperate. When it happened... You mean Ninetales Curse? Yes. I protected my trainer from Ninetales Curse with my entire being. If the trainer is facing danger, danger, it is our duty to protect the trainer with our lives. We, Gardevoir, are that one. I kept my trainer safe. That alone was enough to make me happy. Protect the trainer even at the risk of your own life. It's amazing how Gardevoir, what Gardevoir did. Oh, I must mention, I don't mind the form I've taken. I live on this way with pride in the role I have been given. Role, yes. I all think have a role, they all serve a purpose. Just as I have my own role to play. You too have a role to fill. You have come here to perform a certain role. And for that role, you became a Pokemon. What? What are you saying? Earthquake! And we wake up. You see our friend, our, our, our best um, homeless Pikachu outside. We need to know more. Here we go. So help. You try some backup piece and your mother boy. You try some backup piece and your mother bar board said... Dram led your butt. Dreg, please redo that sentence. Um, we we need we need a redo on that sentence. You can do it. Nah, I don't feel like forming couple as of now. You don't even when you'll start these kind of things. Even though, okay, you don't even know. And Kimet is like Stockholm syndrome. And hi Ben, how's it going? By the way, you you that was a joke, but like um. Personal motivation can also be like, you know that your father uh, has diabetes and this is something that you do not want to um, go down to later. Uh, you know, you could have as a personal motivation just the fact that you would like to be a healthy adult. And this is something that would be recommended to everyone. Like, even as an adult, best case scenario, we want to try to, to do still something like in between three and five hours of sport or training or physical activity per week. It's not always possible or, well, shall I say, we don't always do it. We're like not focusing the right thing. And yes, how did you know your father has diabetes? Uh, I did not know you. you. <laughs> I went by an example because uh, both of my parents got it. Like my father is not, it's not clear yet if he has it, but my mom has it. My grandma has it. My grandfather had it. Uh, it's really, really packed up with diabetes in my family. And this was one of the motivation I had to do, to like make sure that I do try to take care of myself. Uh, so I would consider that a good personal motivation. Uh, it does not mean that you won't have diabetes. Like even me, when I take too much sugar or not enough sugar, I feel like shit. So I guess that I probably have a, a, a small amount of that affecting me. But, yeah, I'm still kind of able to take my full pack of candy if I wish and not feeling too much like shit. Just a little, okay? <laughs> because I will compensate this with some, like, training or, uh, I don't know, eating well for the rest of the day or not eating. Don't do the last one, okay? <laughs> it's not good for you. Not eating is not good for you, guys. Kim understand what I'm talking about. She knows. Okay, Drag. So, you tried PC backup piece. When you try them, a red solid light 
Is there a B D RAM led? Okay. Drag, this means this means that there is one of your um computer RAM, like ta memoire vive, that is broken. So it can either be that the pin are not right, it can be that it's just burnt. Uh take out the one that you know are not working, or take them all out and put them back only one by one. Like Put the two that you know that are working in the slot A1 and B1. Okay. Put the one that you know are working in A1, B1. Launch your computer, see if it starts. Like slowly because you won't have RAM, but see if it starts. If it does, put two more, see if it starts. And then eventually you will be able to pinpoint which one of those RAM is kaput. Don't know if any starts. Well, Go slowly. <laughs> That's it. She did say something. We're going back to it now. <laughs> it is not your backup piece. Um, where all the RAM already in your computer when you started it the first time? Because if the DRAM one starts, it's because most of the time one of your RAM is um, out of order. You have. Okay. Um, like... They do that when when you watch an episode of Naruto. They are going back to something that you saw the episode just before. Everybody do remember it. You don't have to do that. Carnivore knows. She knows why I became a Pokemon. She also said something about a role. Um, what did she mean by that? What did she mean by that? And homeless Pikachu is out. Give it our best today. Good morning. Uh, oh no, not that time. What's the matter? Is something wrong? Oh, I get it. The hard quake earlier. Kellis, you're worried about the same thing I am. I should have guessed. Alakazam's team hasn't come back yet. They say that Grudon's is powerful. That has me a little worried. But Alakazam's team is tough, though, too. They should be fine. Oh, anyways, we agreed to let Alakazam deal with Groudon. We don't have any choice. We have to wait for them to come back. Probably not. We will have to go and beat Alakazam's ass. Uh, Gruden's ass. Because Alakazam did not do it. Michael's old piece, he didn't know either if they work or not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Test it. If it's not working, try to take it out and, like, put your computer as he was. See if it's still working. You remember playing this game in 2D? A website called Snokido. Snokido? Snokido? Like they made a cheap version of it? Or. Snokido? Jeu gratuit en ligne. Okay, maybe. Th this could be like the kind of game that they would be able. The, the original version, like the Pokemon uh, Rescue Team, Blue Team, or Red Team. I could see it be done on a JavaScript. Like if they had, if they wanted to copy it for the internet. So let's do our best with the rescue team. Okay, Mankey time. Is it? Oh, how Wapathet and the other thing that I don't remember the name of. Uh, why not? Ah, uh, why not? Yeah, that was the game. Yes. Um, I, I, I have, I can totally imagine being able to play some of the old Game Boy games or even 3DS games on a website. Um, I'm why not? And this is what? He's only saying that probably because it's what? We have a notice on the bulletin board outside the Pelipper's office. Not I won't be saying what the whole time. Please look at it for me, please, please. What? Uh, yeah. Please help me to go now look at the quest the quest will basically be to uh, teach Wapafet how to talk <laughs> poor thing um what was that all about that little pokemon did he did the voice say he was why not i think he wanted us to look at the bulletin board at the developer's office maybe why not and his friend have a problem on their hands so they may have helped wanted notice on the bulletin board 
Only one thing to do. Let's go check the Pillipers Post Office bulletin board. Let's go check the Pillipers Board Office. I put those words in the wrong order. Sorry. But yes, it's probably the same game, Ben. But this one got like... Uh, upped uh, in quality, like what what it, it looks like. And uh, in a few other quality of life upgrade. Like now you don't have to wield an item to be able to see where the enemies are. Or where the items are. Sorry. Oh, it's here. Uproar Forest. We never went there right away. It's gonna be a first. I guess this looks like main missions keep on going that keeps on going. Better be ready for that quest. Uh I like take that as a trap, Kim. <laughs> there was a job posted on the bulletin board that said punish bad manky. Did you two put that job? Yep. What's that? A bad manky gang is going wild in our forest. Everyone is upset. He says that looking like full happy. I will stop. <laughs> when will the club open at school? I know that the, uh, I think the inscription are like, uh, the regist registration are starting in two weeks. And I don't know exactly when it starts. I'm waiting for that also. So starting at the second cycle, we should be uh, starting to see the registration happen. We don't know why they rampage around, but they are always hangry and attack anyone they see. That. Oh no! Oh oh no! That is a problem. Calips, we should go. Thank you. We're counting on you. I bet again. Uh, the place where the Mankey Gang is wrecking havoc on others, Uproar Forest, is now open for it. Okay, that was not the voice of the little thing. That was just information. Uh, is the is the answer good you you or does this lack precision? Because if you feel like this lacks precision, I feel you. Like, I agree. I would like for a better answer than this. Ooh. Overheat. Is this the move? Is this the move? I think it is. Yeah, I just got overheat. My Torchic will become cool if he can equip it. Oh, nice. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Uh, for those who don't understand why, you will soon see. Uh, let's just... I think I can go in my own equipment. There in my box. Overheat. Learn. Alips. You glitch and didn't hear me. Oh. Um... It will probably be at the start of the second cycle that we, that the registration at school will start for the extracurricular activities. Um, and then I'm not sure exactly when it does start. I will start it as soon as I can. As soon as they let me, actually. Flying is not that good of an aggro move, and I'm not using Peck often. It damaged nearby's enemy, but it also sharply lowers your special attack. Is it? Is it it, Kim? Is it is it the move or is it not? Oh no, it was Eat Wave. Fudge. Okay. I just spent money on something I don't want. Joy. Do you feel the joy now? Boom, 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 boom. But like, it looked like it was a move that was hitting like a truck, but yeah, it's still good early on. Yeah, but I'm going to keep Amber instead. Like, I don't, the enemy don't even have to be close to me for it to work. Uproar forest. How many floor? I don't know. Start. I'm going to keep Amber. Uh, I like to be able to shoot at two quarter range with some little fireball dice pit. Double feed! Night slap! Okay, this one was really bad. Poor thing. Did not ask for that kind of fight. Amber! But, like, you're getting too close, my friend. Die. Oh, we got a friend! 
I like how they develop uh, three floors. Three floors. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> we got a friend. I don't have the camp for him. Ivan the Nip. Okay, this is done. A pump. A pump. Thanks, him. Quick attack. A pumps down. Woo! Amber. Do Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu has faint. Swift. Kind of slow, but swift, though. There. And we go down in this one. It changed nothing. The game's still the same. Why was Pikachu spinning? Because I was pushing him away. Like, he wasn't my... He wasn't the spot I was trying to go to. So it's like, yeah, get get away. I want to go there. You push him in. You're pushing him out. Uh, I had a quest here? Did? I thought my quest was like to break a group of monkeys. But... Pikachu, if you hit them like that, I won't be able to recruit them. The more we are, the better it's for us. Let's go and help that Nutco. I think he... Ooh! Field drive! Uh, I guess that seal's gonna stop me from using the last move I used. That's my feeling about that? I may be wrong. Let's go show him. Let's give him an apple, and we get a Noctol. Noctol was moved by Team Fire Sparks Goodwill. Fly away forest is his camp. Recoil boost. That's it. Let's take it. Um. Oh, he found a friend, and he night slashed it to death. No, it's a traveling Pokemon. I'm lost, Kim. I don't know what you're talking about. There. Oops. There. You must have been talking about Nacto. And those are the Mad Mankeys. Keep an eye for chestnuts, by the way. Oh, <laughs> uh, shall I? What are chestnuts? We get various real easy, you know that? What really irritates us is when we see some dim with a face. Ah, gee, look at that stupid face. Oh, it's taking me off. I'm seeing red. Right. Get him, it's frenzy time in the opening. Um, bad positioning for me now. I'm gonna try to go there. Okay, rocks. Did he teleport? Oh, you seismic toss. Okay, makes sense. Um, so let's just go for Peck, I guess. Uh, those are fighting. And I think flying is supposed to be efficient against that. I won't even take the time to make some sand attack. No, he eats one of his friends. He's just... What? Okay. I like the idea behind that. Like... You take your friend and... Ooh, double slap. I don't want to revive a pump. Go, Pikachu, show them. Um... This one had confusion, which would be great in many other cases. Uh, go for Ember. It does the same damage. Confusion again. Ow! Okay, Leer. Why are they not going down? Okay, one down. Not told notice that a team member's HP is very low. Yeah, let's give it to Absol. Absol is still kind of carrying for the damage, so... Yeah. Woo! Kim's going down! Um, use the tiny revive scene. Like, better than nothing. 
and oops, bad positioning. I, I, I just wasted my turn. Yeah, I like it. Like, I know it's stupid, but yeah. <laughs> What's your new? He beats one of his enemy with another one of his enemy. We all want to do that. I would say some other word than enemies in some other case, but like we're in between friends on a E for everyone channel. Be nice with each other. You got us! No shit. We're only three little monkeys. Kellett's completed the job at Uproar Forest. A rainbow gummy. Better than nothing. And Nocto wanted to stay, but he can't. We don't have the camp for him. And he gave us money and left. We promised. We showed the monkey gang. They shouldn't be monkey. They shouldn't monkey around. Oh shit. Um, that should teach them not to be so wow. Everyone, thank you for everything, really. Huh? <laughs> yes, we're filled with gratitude. This is our thanks. We got a peeled chestnut. A peeled chestnut. They don't have money. <laughs> you got a great RNG on that fight? What do you mean? Was I supposed to be like confused or broken? So we can only give you a chestnut as our reward. Are you unhappy? No, this is fine. Like Kim is always happy. Look, look at the face. Okay. Look at the face they gave to Pikachu there. Pikachu is definitely happy about that. Look at this. Ah, uh, no, no! He's happy, right? We're fine with this. Yeah, I know, and Fury Swipe is actually a really good move early on. Killed chestnuts are delicious. I think they're great. A little Pokemon would have been nice. Hey, you! Oh no! The Mankey Gang! What? The Mankey Gang! Did they chase us to get us back? We want to be in your group now, because you beat the hell out of our face. You got lucky. Don't mess with us. We're gonna loot. We're not gonna lose this time. We'll pulverize you. Right. What? Look at that chestnut. It is. It's a real chestnut. What? Whisper, whisper, mother, mother. What are they doing? Peeled chestnuts are delicious. What do you mean? Well, peeled chestnut or just chestnut? Chestnuts are good. They look like they're having a discussion. What's going on? Uh, listen. I've got some, you got something we want. That peeled chestnut you have. Can we have it? We, uh, love peeled chestnut. Like, we love them so much, we can't think of a life without chestnut. Can't you just get chestnut by yourself? You know how chestnut have spiky shell? Trying to peel that spiky shell, it hurts. And we end up losing our temper. That's why we're asking. Give him the peel chestnut. We'll do anything. Give me money and I give you the chestnut. No? No. Greedy? Greedy. Yeah, um, they they probably will give you Pokemon in exchange anyway. Um, what do you think? Should we give the peel chestnut to the Mankey Gang? Take that nut. Like I don't care about it. I don't care about the nut. Take the nut. Uh, I know. Listen, Mankey Gang, and I missed physical labor. You mean muscle work? We have muscle, but we don't like work. But if it's for a peeled chestnut, okay, this is what we'll do. We were going to make our rescue team base something more impressive than this. Rescue team base? That's right. Our rescue team base. If you ha would help us with the building of our rescue team base, we could give you this peeled chestnut. Oh, that's how does that sound? Like we're we're basically like hiring cheap labor. And if you have some renovation to do in your house, don't hire cheap labor. I did that once. I still regret it. Uh, no, I don't regret it now, but I kind of for some parts. But don't, don't, don't take cheap labor. 
you think you're gonna save on the long term, but like, better than cheap labor, do it yourself. And if you don't do it yourself, pay someone that is really competent in what he's doing. Really? You'd help us? Yeah, leave it to us. We'll carry in the material and get the place built. Double quick. In return, hand over the field chestnut. Me too! How how do? Silk for gluing thing together. Ooh. You're gonna make out a house out of wood and um I guess Caterpie's bar. What if it wanna help you? I felt bad because we only had a peeled chestnut for your reward. Thanks, everyone! Okay, let's get a move on. Okay, okay! And this is the stance of people working, like cheap labor working. And so... Construction work begin on the rescue team base of Calypso's team, Fire Spark. Several days later. Our base is coming along quickly. We hope every we we hope everyone for this. Yeah, you don't owe anything. Like you've saved them all at least once, and you've beat the shit out of those. Mankey. But there's still a lot to do. We can slow down now. But I preferred the house before this. I'ma be honest, it was it, it was looking nicer before. Mm-hmm. Just a little further. Keep up the good work, Mankey. What? They're gone. Look! Over there! Yep, they're burned. What's the matter? We need to keep working. Don't wanna... What? This work's too boring. How do you expect us to keep going? Yeah, that's right. I don't wanna do this anymore. We might change our mind if we get more peel chestnut. The more this story goes, the more it feels like the time I tried to... actually get... someone that was not asking for too much to make some renovation in my house. Like, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a guy that said that he would do a job for something like a um, thousand hundred dollars, a thousand and an hundred dollars, and basically close to a thousand dollars in, he was still only at 40% of the job done, and he was telling me that it would be fine. I would just have to keep on paying. Guess we'll have to give the Mankey Gang any peeled chestnut that we find. The next morning. We're working in a renovation area. Let's go see our homeless Pikachu. Would you like me to buy you some peeled chestnut? No. I don't care about those. The house can stay like this. We can live in that. Look, they're still working. There is that why not up top my door doing a dance. This is better like this. I, I have a dancing why not. I have a dancing Wapifet and I have a jiggling Caterpie. See, this is better like this. Good morning, Calypso. Let's boost the Mankey Gang's morale with a peeled chestnut. We can find chestnut in Uproar Forest. This is why you are telling me to look for chestnut. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> um, ba -dum, bum, bum. Check the mail. Calypso Innocent Part 2. Quote from Charizard on the scene. That's what I thought right from the start. <laughs> Quote from Tyranitar on the scene. That muckracking Gengar. He's not getting away with this. He'd better be ready for it. Good. Like, eh, fine. Each Wonder Orb has its own effect. We won't read that all because, let's be honest, like, we can read the effect of the orb when we use them. 
We don't often use it. You would have to take some... If you would have take some on your first run, it makes less run to do after. Most probably, Kim. Like, let's go see if there is like another side quest in Hopper Forest since we're going back there. Apparently. Bolton board. Nothing in the Hopper War. Um, I guess I had a lot of stuff in Oddity. Let's keep this one going. And that's a far one. Um, 10? Okay. Great Canyon. Let's take the Great Canyon and maybe stack something for later. And we're going back into that upper forest. Because I guess that to be able to go and help the team against Groudon, um, I have to go and get... How many chestnuts, Kim? My feeling would be three. But uh, tell me wrong if I am. Woohoo! Okay. Okay! Hey, wait, I'm gonna die there. Okay. Okay, it takes two rounds to happen. It's funny because in this game, you can find a Charizard scared and lost in a level one bug forest. Is it funny or scary? Like, if that Charizard is lost and scared, he probably have at least arachnophobia. Or even worse. Are you laughing at someone having arachnophobia? <laughs> Razor Wind is stupid strong. But let's say I, I have the feeling that he just hit me hard for not much work. He, he was just standing there breaking my neck with his move. Hi. So here we go, level up, and we got some money here, which we were not really looking for. There's a thing that I dislike about um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, and it's basically that we got used to Pokemon evolving at certain level and progressing through the game. And in Mystery Dungeons, you're pretty much done with the game. When... Like, you're pretty much done with the game when you get the chance to evolve. They're like giving you some more stuff, but like partially less and ooh, what's I got poison. I like to be poisoned in this game, right? Everybody looks like, like that. No, we won't use that. Hi. You're cute, little walnut. Why do you think that I should peel and give to the monkeys? Ah, not what I thought it would be. I like how we can fight in his shop and he's not giving a single name. Okay. Three orbs. Wigglytuff orbs. We take this. I did not look if I had the money. I have the money. That's cool. Two Wigglytuff orbs. That's... Oh, hold. Nah. That's still... Really good, actually. Like, when I will find some new guy that I want to keep in my team, I will be able to summon her. Yeah. Not at all. There is plenty of stuff after. I might have missed something. Okay. EP Leech Trap. Okay. Nice. Paint again. He just used synthesis. Woo! Paint. I guess I don't have my spark. Ooh! We developed a kinship. Come join us. See that? Um. See that is the one that evolved into those little weird looking guy we saw just after it. Nope. I'm really obstinate about not using fish of berries. What happened if the Mankey wants one after? Oh, another! We collecting the sea dots. But yeah, there's no reason for it, let's be honest. 
Another sea duck? Oops. Okay. Don't choose. Let's go, have soul showing. Attack. Okay, that's it. Nope. You picked up an iron spike. Ooh, the poison hits hard when it does. It does not do often, but when it does, it does. By the way, have you finally uh, seen Sir Bina on your side, Yu Yu? Because I had a lot of kids in Sec 4 that were like, Oh, you might be our teacher! And I was like, is it Bina or Benar you got? And they were like, Benar? Oh, wow, nope. <laughs> I'm with the Sec 1 and my Sec 4 I've already seen. So some people got disappointed today. Oh man. This could be a chestnut, but like... It's on the other side of the map. Let's go, Hamber! Let's go take a look at this. Hi, Mengi. You mad? Burn down. Okay, he just got pecked to death. Paint! Okay, this is just the French. Let's go back to the stairs. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Poison is for the whole floor, yes. This is why I did not care much about, like, deleting it. And there is only one chestnut per run. Oh, fudge. Okay, it's cool. Uh, there's no Pokemon here, so let's go back to get another chestnut. How many chestnut do I need? Three. Three, yes, three. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> you already answered that, like, five minutes ago. Uh, we don't have place for the chestnut. The C dot, sorry. So they're gone. And we're going back in to get another chestnut. Yeah, it's okay. It's only a three-floor dungeon. And it gives you the, the opportunity to stack on um, some quests if eventually you have to go up for your level. Your, your uh, team level. But it's not. It could be worse. Ten floor for a boring quest, Kim. Ten floor for a boring quest? Ouch. There we go. Check them out. I get from the rescue organization. Don't go tickets with France. And wind of strong foes. Okay. Sinister's wood. Do we have something in that? I'll take it for now. Not being sure. And whoop. I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna go take a look at the accepted job. We have a lot into Oddity Cave and Great Canyon. We were looking on Oddity Cave and Grand Canyon. Great Canyon. So eh, nothing. Nothing. Okay, those are like C and D. In front fr frost forest. Mount Thunder E. Ugh. Okay, let's go out. So yeah, just the fact that this dungeon became a three-floor dungeon instead of a ten-floor one is actually a good quality of life upgrade since the version they gave you on the 3DS. It takes, it takes easily like half an hour less for a similar result. Let's go left. Here's the second question. Is it always on the third floor? Because if yes, I'll just like rush through it. Amber again. That's good. This one's so dead. Hey, he wanted to be our friend, but we don't have a secretive forest. Let's take him, he's gonna give us some pokey dollars at the end. There's a fainted Pokemon on this floor. Uh, yeah, but... Okay, this one can die. This is really a map in which I would not be too scared. 
of leaving my guy just running around. You try it. Yes, we take you with us. But you will have to go and dance like you've never danced. Ah, fudge. Okay, he's adding something else. Uh, I want to... Go there. Speak. Everyone. Uh... Water foes? Go the other way. Huh? Let's go. Explore, my friends. This is mine. Okay, this, this is good. I would like... Yeah, I'm getting hurt. Nope, I'm not. Okay, he's getting slowly killed by the Razor Wind while he does nothing. And Pikachu hits him with Iron Jaw. PM. Low sweep. That's a bad one, probably. That sounds like something that has no range. I'm still gonna take a look. If I get in on the second floor, that's fine, but I won't put my hopes too much off now. Yeah, we don't care about you. I could take him just so he can go into another way than me. And I don't know why the go another way did not work. Oh yes, it did work, but not on those that we just recruited. Those are just too dumb, I guess. Okay, he got money. Which is basically why I wanted them to go their own way. They can survive in here. The dungeon is not that hard. Uh, the real risk is, like, if they fall on a uh, Mankey. And the Mankey is just powering through them with double slaps. There. That's not... Nope. Amber! He bubbled? Did he bubble? I missed it. It's dead. Let's go, Pikachu. Show him. Ow. Hunger trap. Oh, I'm hungry. I don't want that. This is what I was looking for. Oh, there's a Rosaria. Rosario? There's the Rosarita. A Rose Lady. Oh, that could be a man. There's a Rose Pokemon. A Rose thing. Gonna be fine. I think that's enough, try. We should stop. Let's go! As nice as Razor Wind has, it takes two turns and it takes forever to do the damage it has to do. Um, I'm not sure. Is this buffing the team also? Yeah! Okay, no, just only Nazleaf, but Nazleaf gets stronger and stronger every time you use that in a room. Okay. Oh! Oh! That looks foul. So, you just got a character concept for my campaign. Do you know the night card from the deck of many things? I don't remember what that card in particular is, is but I'm trying hard not to put that into my game when I'm playing with new players. As interesting as the, um, the, 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 the deck of many things can be in D&D, &D, uh, with new players, it's, it's a non-welcomed risk, I'd say. Okay. Oh man, how can I explain that? If I put a deck on, of many things in my game, it is possible, it is totally possible that I cheat the, the, the card that will end up on the first one. On the, on the top of the deck. I'll make it as simple as possible. Um, there is some shuffling tricks that you can do that will give the impression to the person that you've actually shuffled the card, but I will willingly put one card up top of the deck to make sure that at least if that gets in, that gets in and that's going to be mildly positive at first but 
When you play with experienced character or uh, experienced player, yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm still trying to understand. <laughs> Okay, you just basically think about the night card herself, like the concept of the night card. Okay. But you, you, you will be running your own game, right? Will you? Asking the question, I thought you, you planned on. Don't forget to talk to the manky. I got two. I need three, Kim. No? You told me I need three. Woo! That was a tango. A gift from the rescue organization to a hard worker like you. Try to power up by using the enclosed bronze dodo ticket to the Makarika Dojo. Nice. Uh, I feel like we could be able to reach level 34 with Pikachu. The rescue job that are listed on the bulletin board at the Billifer's Port Office, but the but the but Okay. Let's talk to them. Does Kim tell me to talk to them? Hi guys. Are you motivated now? Kim? Okay. I... Yeah. I'm... Sorry, Kim. <laughs> okay. Sorry I'm thinking about that renovation. <laughs> okay. Uh, and return to work to, on, the rescue, uh, on the rescue team base. As a result, the rescue team base completion moved a little closer. Let's go, lazy ass. Yes, I did. I said the word ass. I hope it's still fine. Yes, a peeled chestnut. All right, you lay about. Why don't you quit longing around yourself? Get moving. We'll get hustling on renovating your rescue team base. Well, your character could be the said knight. He had to protect the shaman who picked him. You, you, you're supposed to be a DM. You're thinking as a player. What's happening? <laughs> When the shaman died and with some sort of cursed wish, your character and the fighter gained consciousness last there there is not like this is this is not, this does not have to be a cursed wish. Uh, there is a spell in the druid um like list that basically gives the ability to um to 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 to, to basically think as a human for Wait, you won't... Yeah, I will DM a game. But... We will be DMing at the same time. Don't we? <laughs> like, where's... The activity will have some set hours? Did I miss something? Was I... Was I not clear? I, I can be... I can be unclear sometime. Supplied with another peeled chestnut, the Menke gang got motivated and they returned to work on the rescue base renovation. As a result, the rescue team base completion moved a little closer. But it's not done yet. No, I don't want to talk with you again if you're not working. Oh. Okay. And this is the moment where I would have called my father and my brother and I would have asked, could you come? We're going to do it by ourselves. <laughs> Let's lay them out. Let's go. Let's dojo drill a little bit that Pikachu up to 34. But yes, I will DM a game. But, and this is gonna depend on how many, uh, not subscription, um, registration we get. Cause I think, I, I do remember I said that. I will try to, um, prioritize the new student, like the secondary one around my table because they know less about the game and 
like they have to be thoughts from the beginning from the start so i would like for you to have like the more i i'd say ready players like the one that knows a bit more about the game so that you're not rushing just explaining them how to move or how to play even though it's possible that you end up having one or two really new players but i know that in the in the group that i had that looked the more interested um there were the, the two group that looked the more interested were my um students that were in how dramatic so basically you probably will get to have some really creative players but maybe not only fighting machines you know not people interested by stat that much and more by this more driven by a story this is what i hope i'm crossing my finger but we may end up with a lot of sec one that just want to play barbarian to break the neck of everything they meet but uh, let's okay let's let's not start with uh, thinking that will be that but yes, you. you uh, as I said, uh, the first time we talked about that, um, I really will probably prioritize the, the the more like we're gonna call him like that. We're, I'm gonna prioritize the noobs, and it's not to be like sad or like I don't want you to feel hurt because I don't want to give you either. I don't want to give you too many new players around the table if that's possible. And because I don't have you around the table, because the thing is, the best way to have some new players is to give them a good experience at first. Um, I'm pretty sure you and Nu will be probably really good to be able to give that experience to new players. And this is why I kind of went and said that the maximum of registration that we take for the first season would be 18 for the Présentiel and 12 for the Distance, like the one uh, on Discord. And I'd like to respect that and to give a good experience to the new ones. I, I, I know you understand, like, I don't know why I'm explaining that for five minutes. I know you understood like two minutes ago. I know it was probably a bummer though when we were like, oh fudge. Yeah, that's true. We said that earlier. Um, I'm sorry for the bummer. Like, really, really sorry for that. Woo! The floor is diffused. What is diffused? Oh, it takes off the... the traps. Is it that? If it's that, I understand now why Kim... Really, yeah, I, I'm... Thank you for telling me not to worry. Like, I, I'm, I'm someone that will worry about hurting people for no reason. Um, and I, I don't... I did not want you to feel too denied because... Yeah, this is not the goal of the... Of what I said. I, I know you are, like, mature enough to understand that. And nothing can be activated or explode. Nice. Okay. I cannot hit on corner, but... <laughs> then it's thing can, okay? <laughs> this is what he just told me. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm dying again. I got it. Broken, I said. Level done. Pikachu is one level away from being able to wipe mm, roots. And that's probably going to be able in Groudon Punches. Because we saw what happened when Puppetar was looking at us in uh, Mount Freeze. Uh, yeah, it was slow death for the team. It hurt him. Okay. I'm agreeing with your project, Myro. Double it! He got me one spell, though. It! 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 That's going well. Like, that's a long call, and it's easier to get some free kills. And ow! Double bubble beam! If you get more experienced player, then maybe you will make less a classical campaign. I don't know yet what kind of player we will get, um, but let's be honest. Um, I, I don't know. I can say that. I, I will say it. 
as simple as I can. Uh, most people, we don't really care about... Not, not mostly. Most player of D&D, we don't really care about the kind of campaign we get. We only want to play. So if we get a chance to play a game or to DM a game, like, as long as I don't get... Like, I don't fall on people that have a totally different understanding of D&D than me. I will be able to adjust myself and they will be able to adjust themselves so that we are able to find a common ground and play D&D together. People just want to play. So yes, you could go for something fancy or you could go for something really special, uh, but I do understand that the, lim the sky is the limit when you play with more experienced player and the limit is maybe set somewhere else when you play with real new player. So, we're gonna see, like, worst case scenario, uh, for a really new player, Lost Mine of Fandelver is a, ooh, yeah! Oh, if I had this charge there, it would have been crazy. But now it's just gonna be good, <laughs> okay? No, maybe not, maybe not. It just gave agility to someone. They, they will have so many moves, I won't be able to move. It's gonna be stupid. I was happy for half a second. Then I understood that there would be no game. <laughs> oh man! It's the first monster house we get. Make a band campaign. Um, if I eventually get on really good um, role players, like people that really want to get into their character and don't really care about the fighting part, like there will be fighting once in a while, but. Yes, you can make a game with 6 Bard. 6 is a bit much, 4 Bard is enough, okay. But Bards and Cleric in, in the 5th edition are basically the most broken classes. You are full casters and you're able to like, ditch a little bit in the other thing that usually casters don't get. Um, so yes, you can make a bank campaign. Uh, you can make a clerical campaign as well and have pretty much every floor covered. It's... I'm pretty sure it's possible to make a charismatic priest... a cleric, sorry. But it's just gonna be harder to... like... make... To, to, to keep strong, but there is surely a way to be able to use your charisma to... compensate, compensate some of your wisdom weakness. There we go. He comes in and quick attack. Come in! Okay, that's it. Uh, this... Will this be enough for level 33? If it's not, it's gonna be pretty... 44. 34. It's gonna be pretty close. It is! Let's go get Discharge! Kim is trying to learn Discharge. You have to forget an old move. Ah, but that's paralysis. Okay, that hits for almost as much. And this is crazy, crazy much more powerful. And it also can, call, can cause paralysis. Like Link, for example. Like Link. Bard is so versatile, most of the time when people try to make an him or video game character into a character sheet, they end up using the Bard card. Bard class. Um, well, most character that I would like to put into a D&D game, I would probably not go to Bard class, but Link, there is a way to build Link as a Bard, or as a Bard dip, because of the music part, like the magic effect you want to you, you wanna get. But you could probably also find a way to just dip into Bard and go all the way into a weird kind of ranger or druid. No, not druid. Druid? Maybe druid if you want to go for the wolf version, like the dark wolf, the dark wolf from, um, what was that game? Twilight Princess. But you would probably not be able to get everything out of a full link character with only Bard. You would get something good, just not complete. It's not overheat. What was it? Heat wave. Later. So, here we go! Pikachu is ready to take on the world by doing AoE moves. 
We only have 12 views of those, though, which is not so much. Pinky Cave and Great Canyon in Frosty Forest. Fudge. It was A, not B. So, hey, thanks a lot for the follow. Ah, uh, uh, man. Okay, can I just like refuse that follow? You just made me happy for half a second. We're gonna report that. Uh, channel's goal. But count to get. Attention. Submit report. Ciao, Hus. And it's not working. Nice. Let's go. Can I get a better view out of that or not on the right? Okay, I lost my activity flux because I tried to report the bot. That's cool. Okay. Um, your first campaign marked you more than it marked me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um... If you want to make me say that you rolled your 20 and flipped a bullet, uh, that's fine. <laughs> but Noob will be sad knowing that I remembered that part first. Yeah, this is how Amy went down so fast. Yeah, let's go, Pikachu! Show him! Discharge his face! And let's find some stairs. There they are. Yeah, he's paralyzed. That's fine. There. But I like to go. I would. You wanted to, to, to let me say that you flipped a bullet, right? Because, yes, um, they were basically trying to fight a young bullet when they were level 2. And, yeah, you also remember about this. Aww. I do hope so. <laughs> but, yeah. Those two. Oh, double discharge. Why not? And this is a high drop seed. We're gonna we're we're gonna assume the fact that I did not even have to burn him. I'm gonna reach a third floor and try to get the chestnut. He also remembered critting a wolf and once and once shutting him like a boss. Yeah, but if my memory is good, he was a um, he, he was a barbarian, and that was a game where there was less player active. Um, for those that would disagree with that, I'm sorry, but I don't care. Okay, um, you can HP in the DMG. Um, are basically recommendation that the game maker made for you. They are number. You can actually do not care about that and still enjoy your game. Oh, double one. Double missed, but we don't care. They die. Nice job, Absol. We got the nut. We were looking for these and we're out. Yeah, that's true. Um, he was playing a paladin, and basically he was he, he got a crit. He popped his um, his 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 smite, and got really high numbers on his damage count. So for a level two or three, it was pretty high even for a great wolf. So yeah, sometime if the enemy has something like 5 or 6 HP remaining and you just hit him for 90% of what he has, I will give you a one shot. I, I I don't mind. Like this was worth it. That makes for a better story. And the player don't have to know it. Okay, numbers on the monster manual 
our recommendation, the power in the monster manual, the resistance in the power manual, everything they put in the monster manual, our recommendation for the DM, you don't have to follow them. I even recommend you to tweak them always. The next morning, we're going to see our homeless Pikachu again. But yes, long story short, your player don't have to know that. And even um, keeping that information for you will make for them a better story. And changing it will make a better story. So if your Hydra is just basically your run out of the mill Hydra that is written in the book, every player that knows the book by heart will not be that interested. He will know what's about to come. Uh, I'll be right back on that. Investigation on their way into recent rash of natural disasters. Pokemon in affected areas attack any outsider without hesitation. Some believe a mysterious force is behind their behavior. One source blamed Diglets for triggering heartquakes, but the investigative team is skeptical. If you build camp at Wigglytuff Camp Corners, the Pokemon who can, you, who can wait at those camps will join your team when they tag along. Even after you clear the dungeon, build more camp and recruit more Pokemon. Lapis Cave, yeah. Okay. Mankey, exactly. We're, we're at that point. And uh, they will be done with my... Um, home? I was planning on beating Groudon tonight, but like... Wanted to play some game with the viewers also. So, I'm debating with myself if I go help Alakazam now. How many floors is the Groudon level? The ground in, um, dungeon. Let's go, guys. End up this work. Um, you want to get Blastoise? Blastoise look awesome. His halt is basically a freaking huge AoE on which he makes a wave of knockup, then keeps on rolling into your face. This is this is really strong, and finally. The rescue team base was completed. Okay. Um. I don't know. It looked better in brick. He also has a huge surf. I haven't seen the huge surf. I've seen people play him maybe differently than that. But like, that makes four Pokemon with surf. Do all water Pokemon in this game got surf? and play it differently or fire spark rescue team base oh so cool no matter how you look at it our rescue team base is just way too cool it resemblance to you is a nice touch calips we all worked very hard it was very hard but it was worth it <laughs> everyone thank you stay there there's something i want to ask this rescue team base is finished. Does that maybe mean you won't bring us PL Chestnut anymore? <laughs> of course. We're finished with work on our rescue team base. To our main key again. <laughs> Sincerely, thank you for everything. And they're gonna break the house. Look at these ass. I'm gonna beat your asses. As the result of everyone's desperate effort to stop the Mankey Gang, the rescue team base was saved. As for the Mankey Gang, they promised to keep from rampaging. In return for more peeled chestnut, they returned to their forest. Do you remember when? when you said je fil tendre at the barman because you misheard je fil down yeah you, you had as a, a key phrase to basically say him je fil un peu down présentement quelque chose pour moi so that he can help you go uh, on, in the basement that was supposed to be a key phrase and you, and you told him je fil tendre and yeah yeah that was weird you're right with that. I do hope that you've reused that. That was one of your first insight that you got on D&D. &D. The next morning. 
So now it's a key phrase and for, for all of your barmen in every game that they feel tender. There. Good morning, Calyps. It's the next day. It's the next day. Yeah. No, no, it's today. Next day is tomorrow. And our rescue team base is still looking super cool. Seeing it all shiny and new makes me feel like it's a fresh start for us. Let's keep doing our best with our rescue work. Oh. And another thing is non blaze. A uh, wonder child reset attack and defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you say me that today? Game! Game, we know that. We've been there before. Okay, do you have eat weight? Oh. And he does not. Mm. Woo! Munchlax! <laughs> Rumbling! Hungry! Okay. Okay, can I, can I, where is he? Hey! Munchlax, hungry. You have food? Really? What kind of food? Show Munchlax. Uh, uh, got the plane seat. Oh? Uh -huh. What have food? Munchlax feels sad. Munchlax, go now. Hey, that was still food. You can eat that. What do you want as food? You want my big apple? I got a really big apple. Basic big apple. Let's kill him, Skip. Munchlax, one big apple. Big apple. Munchlax, big favorite. Yeah, delicious. Munchlax, satisfied. You go to Munchlax. Munchlax, say thanks you with this. I got a munch bell. Munchlax, go now. Bye, Munchlax. Okay, so Munchlax gone. Uh, he gave me a munch something. What's munch? Up. Oh. <coughs> Let's in my box. Munch bell. When equipped, it boosts the wearer's attack and special attack, but it also makes their belly empty more quickly. This could be good on Pikachu. But I would have to control other characters. Well, probably gonna do that. And... What's the next quest now? Okay, nothing apparently. Bolton board. We already got some shit in Mount Freeze. Mount Steel also, I think. And Mount Thunder. Let's see if it's enough to make something interesting with it. Oops. Yeah. That was the way back. Fast one, but... Yeah, I went wrong. Okay. Um, my quests are a lot splitted. I don't like that. And... Before I go to do some... Um, 